again and if you're hearing some background music that's from the music studio I can play and accompany at the same time so let me give it the time and date stamp it is 11 hours and 19 minutes into the day of Saturday, October 18th, 2014. And we're still within the month of October. We are doing Vlogtober. We're trying to vlog every single day in, in uh, October. Trying some new stuff out as well. Trying some new funding things out. Uh, some, some new funding methods. So, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm out this going to be most of the day. Uh, I just did last night as well. Uh, out at a conference that I'm working on. Uh, so, that's where I've been this weekend, so, <laughs> uh, I'm going there in about a half hour, 45 minutes, I'm leaving again, so, I just thought I'd do this, I did a sound test of the equipment, this is actually, this is actually, what you're hearing in the background is actually just a sound check, so, <laughs> it's not actually music, but a lot of people uh, loop things in the background, they loop music in the background, well, this is kind of it here, because, uh, everything's copywritten, so this stuff is my own, and it's just a sound check from the background. So I'm gonna continue on working on this stuff, working on the music studio, trying to work it out and uh, um, get it operational. It's this is, the first things you have to get done are the sound tests. Once the sound test is done, uh, then you can start going in and trying to sort of fix up and. Uh, Start producing uh, soundtracks, some music, some music actually. And I start off with the scales. And once I'm comfortable with the scales, or think I have a fair enough uh, uh, grasp of it, then I go into just random, uh, I guess you call it um, random notes, uh, putting together whatever sounds I want, not really worrying too much about what the notes are, but rather how it sounds playing by ear in terms of putting together, together uh, maybe like a minute soundtrack or something like that. This is about, um, I think, uh, 30 seconds or something like that. Let me see how long this is. Yeah, this is about a 50 sec. This is about a 50 second track. Uh, as I said, it's just a sound test. So, <laughs> um, anyways, I think that, that's gonna. How, that's how I'm gonna start doing things. I gotta try try out some other uh, sounds on here, on the keyboard, and then I also have to over the next few months uh, work on um, uh, bringing in some more equipment, some new equipment into the into the studio, a new piano that will give me uh, professional access to uh, the sound files on uh, Linux. So, but again, that's part of the product. You know, we're going to go from the very basics of the studio into something more professional. <sighs> Anyways, I'm off. I will talk to you again either maybe tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, let you know how things have gone. Alrighty. Take it easy. Bye-bye. 
Well, hello everybody. Good morning. Yeah, it's actually uh, uh, considering my, way my time changes, so we're getting towards the morning. It is six hours and fifty nine minutes into the day of Sunday, October nineteenth, two thousand fourteen. Uh, it's time for the next segment of the uh, beat the log and. Ironically enough, it is actually morning. We're starting to get closer to morning. There is something in my eye. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Got that thing in my eye. Uh, <laughs> uh, the conference went pr pretty well. I will be... Uh, Editing the uh, the I'll be editing the uh, uh, the conference that I was at. I recorded everything, and I'll be editing it into a, a bit of a documentary, and you'll be able to see it online sometime uh, either Wednesday th Wednesday or Thursday. Now we're not yet on track. This week we should be up up to date with their vlogs, which means uh, you won't have too long to wait to actually see this. <laughs> Before we were behind more than we were more, a couple of months behind. Now we're more or less caught up. Uh, things are working better on the editing bay. Uh, uh, our, a number of the issues have been more or less resolved, uh, and so now we're moving forward. The question is now: Is that uh, where do we move forward to? And right now, uh, the work on the music studio seems to be going pretty well. Uh, there are still some issues that I've got to sort of work out, but. Oh no! It's you know it's it's pr it's pretty good. It's it's uh, a, well a workable situation, uh, and because it is a workable situation, uh, we do have uh, you know we do have that uh, ability now. Oh, this minute we got a phone call coming in. Wow. Second segment of the BTS vlog. Uh, it is uh, 7:02 now on Sunday, October. Yeah, Sunday, October 19th, 2014. Bit of an interruption. My dad called, uh, getting ready to go to church. It's yeah, seven o'clock in the morning. This is what usually happens. Is that usually at seven o'clock in the morning? I have to be up and ready to go to church. Uh, that's where I also study my Greek, and there's actually a lot more to it. And you'll be seeing a lot more of. Uh, what I believe, uh, in terms of uh, God or no God, uh, in the uh, Bass vlogs, there'll be that'll be a section in the uh, uh, in the Insta vlogs. Insta vlogs is uh, the research notes. The uh, studio is finished. It's done. Uh, I will. I've done. I've done my first test shot uh, in terms of the short test shot. The next thing that has to be done is I have to film the uh, a series of uh, this. This week I have a series of videos to film uh, in the uh, InstaVlog studio, so uh, you'll be seeing that coming up. So the thing is, is that uh, that we're back on track. We're sort of back on track, uh, and you'll be seeing uh, these vlogs in a more frequent basis. In other words, we're going to have more uploads, more to watch. Uh, we will be uh, moving towards uh, presenting a really good uh, uh, variety of shows like a channel would. In other words, we are become, becoming more and more uh, like a good uh, open IPTV option. In other words, uh, if you're a person who wants to cut the cable, well, this is how you're going to be able to do it, is by channels like this. We come up here, we put our effort into it, and we present you with a variety of different types of topics, a very variety of different types of shows. Um, as I said, we're more of a PBS style, style of thing, so we're more academically oriented. Uh, PBS handles uh, general knowledge, the same thing as most of the science channels. Most of your science channels out there that I've seen so far, they're all pretty much standard general knowledge. So in other words, you're dealing with uh, topics and uh, subjects at the level basically, basically to the second year of university and below. You don't really get any, any further depth into that. What we're going to do is we're not we're going to take the PBS model, but we're not going to deal with general knowledge. We're going to deal with advanced knowledge. In other words, we're going beyond the second year of university into research, into studies, into uh, heavier topics, 
and we will deal with a detail that other channels simply don't deal with it. So if you're looking for information here, if you want to really find out what's going on, if you want to learn how to do research, right? You want to, there's a topic you're interested in, and so like you want to research Illuminati, you want to research UFOs, you really want to do the do the research thing. Well, this is how, this is you can come here and learn how to do that. You can put, you learn how to become a researcher here. Uh, this is what this channel is about. And this is why it's sort of like like PBS. It is in many ways an academically oriented channel. You will be able to learn here. You know, if you're if you're a homeschooler, then yay, this is where you come to learn. So, uh, anyways, uh, I think that's about it for now. Uh, I will see you after church. Uh, I think we're gonna do something in the music studio today. I had to fix it up so it's working pretty well so far. I'm gonna do a couple more uh, tests today. You'll be able to sort of see that as we do the tests. And, uh, um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'll see you then uh, sometime in the afternoon. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs>
anyways, uh, that's it for now. Very short right now because <laughs> uh, we've got the rest of the day to go. Anyways, we'll see you there later. Have a good day. Bye bye. Well, what do you say when <laughs> there is really not much to say? Uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is still morning. It is eight hours into the day of Wednesday, October 22nd, 2014. Let me say happy birthday to my sister-in-law, Sharon. Uh, yeah, uh... It's been a, a pretty good day yesterday. I did relax. That's why I didn't do much of anything. Uh, but I also did a lot of food shopping. I, I went to supply uh, the get uh, some more supplies for the kitchen diner for uh, the diner that I have in there. Uh, two good supplies. I, I got some. I found some uh, cheese on 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 sale for cheap. Uh, uh, a good supplier for cheese for subs and for other different things that require cheese. I have a good supply now, a good supplier, a cheese supplier. Uh, I also um, uh, try out some new yogurt as well. Uh, I like the Greek type of yogurt. The more, and these are the types of yogurts that uh, are homemade. I usually make my own, but if the price is right, then I'll, uh, I, I, uh, I also try other brands just in case I need more than what I usually have. So, uh, that's what I did, and now I'm working more on the, on the kitchen tour. I'll, I'll have more to do in the kitchen diner. I, uh, but I started usually at seven. I started around seven o'clock this morning, and uh, <sighs> sorry about that. Took about took uh, about a half hour milling around. I've got the. Um, the sound studio sort of working here. I'm just sort of testing out some more things. So I am going to be in the music studio today. I have some work to do on the animation studio. I also have to finish up the. Um, I also have to finish up the scripts for uh, the shows. I got to film them today, and I also have some editing to do on the on uh, the BTS one. So. I have a fair amount to do today, but we'll see what I get done. Uh, my eyes are feeling better. They they're still kind of uh, they're still kind of bruised. Uh, these are the black circles under them. This is actually a bruising of the eye. Uh, and if you do a lot of reading, a lot of studying, this is what actually happens uh, due to the fatigue. And you need to take a couple of days to really sort of back off and let your eyes uh, recover. So. Uh, that's what I've been doing. We'll see what I do today in terms of the amount of work. Because I gotta sort of, I'm still gonna be careful with uh, my eyes. So, <laughs> I guess that's how I take vacations. You know, if, uh, uh, if I'm forced to take a vacation, that's how I take my, take my vacations. Uh, anyways, sorry about that. Uh, excuse me. On with uh, breakfast. And we'll see what we come up with today. You know, maybe I'm doing more, more work in the studio than I'm playing the piano or something like that. Uh, I'll uh, show you. It's not, not, it's not much. It's just the scales. So uh, we'll we'll go there if uh, if that happens today. You know, if, if there's something significant being done in the music studio. All right, take it easy. <laughs> Prepared to have what you know. Challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Well, not good morning, but it is good morning for me, anyways. Uh, time is starting to move forward again. Let me get a time and date stamp. It is 12 hours and 28 minutes into the day of October, of Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. Yeah, um, I ended up on Tuesday, I was supposed to take time off, but I didn't end up doing that. What ended up happening was, uh, I realized I needed some stuff for, my, for the kitchen diner, 
So I went out to the food warehouse that I usually go to uh, when I get when I need to get some some more we'll call uh, uh, long term supplies for the for the kitchen diner. Uh, short term supplies, immediate supplies we call fresh produce. That's typically uh, TNT. That's my uh, Asian supermarket. That's where I typically go. Uh, but there are long-term supplies that are needed for the kitchen diner, and I go to uh, these uh, uh, food wholesalers to get these supplies. And so I did that on Tuesday, but realized as I was uh, finishing up my walk into uh, the, uh, the food warehouse that I needed to go do some fresh supplies as well. So uh, what I ended up doing is I dropped the load off here. Uh, the heavy warehouse supplies uh, it was about 60 pounds all together in my backpack, so it was about 60 pounds all on my back. And then, right after that, I went out and did um, uh, immediate supply shopping. Well, for the entire week, actually. It's going to last me for the whole... I won't be going again until basically next Wednesday. Uh, and... Uh, I ended up getting another uh, 25, 30 pounds <laughs> worth of stuff. So the, by the time I got back uh, on Tuesday, I think it was uh, Tuesday afternoon, and I think it was sometime around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, my body was exhausted. So that threw off Wednesday. But Wednesday, what had happened, because uh, I do uh, work at my dad's church uh, with a sound system, uh, we had a conference in the basement, and I had switched the sound system so that it would work uh, for the... Uh, conference in the hall but when I picked everything up I forgot to switch the console back so that it works upstairs for the church because there's basically one console and you switch it so it works in the hall for the conferences and then you switch it back again to work upstairs for the church but I forgot to do that I picked everything up but I forgot to switch the console back over that meant uh, uh, that meant on Wednesday even though my body was physically exhausted uh, I went to church and had to switch the system over. But this is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just that my body was physically exhausted and I could have used that extra rest. So, um, it ended up that it's ending up that uh, I'm spending more time now studying my Greek uh, rather than just simply studying the, the Greek on the weekends. In addition to the weekends, uh, I'll be studying the Greek on uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So this will be my ancient language studies because the Greek is the same type of Greek that you would find on the Rosetta Stone. That's what I'm studying. Uh, the uh, the church Greek that I'm using is the the uh, Greek that's on the Rosetta Stone. Understand the church Greek that's right in front of you. That gives you access to the Rosetta Stone and all the languages that were connected to the Rosetta Stone. So in other words, you uh, you can use the Greek that I'm studying. To give you access to uh, a better access to uh, ancient studies, to do uh, study ancient history, uh, particularly if you want to do research in there, and that's what I do want to do. It's uh, I'll add this is this is part of the research that I'm doing. So I'm going further. There are things that I want to know, things I want to understand. So I got to further. I got to expand my antiqui antiquities library, and to do that, I need to uh, uh, work on my language studies, my, my, my particularly and particularly my Greek. Because everything else is going to sort of rot rotate around the Greek, you know. F first the Greek, and then there's the the, the uh, uh, Semitic languages like uh, Aramaic, Syriac. There's Arabic, and you can see how these languages sort of interact and pick up off each other uh, through history. Uh, once you have that sort of basic Greek background, you can use that as sort of a conduit uh, to do this. But so <laughs> heavy stuff, a lot of studying. Uh, and very little sleep. So, but the thing is, I am I'm, I'm I'm somewhat behind on my BTS vlogs again. I'm a little bit behind. I have to do some editing today, uh, but uh, today is going pretty quickly. So we'll see when it's up happening. Uh, so that's why there haven't been there haven't been uh, uploads the way they use a bit the, where we have been having uploads. We got a little bit behind. There's a little bit of an, uh, not an issue, but sort of a, a delay that I haven't been able to get back to the uh, editing bay and start doing the uh, that, that sort of editing work. Uh, that being said, uh, I think I should be able to do it tonight, and I should also tonight, and between night, tonight and tomorrow, I should be able to get 
two episodes of the shows in zero one in, in season zero done. So uh there, there goes our timer. Our time is now up. Trying to keep our segments, you know, within the six minute mark. So <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for now. If I have anything more to do to come back, I, I said I'm trying to get to the music studio. I've done some work in the music studio, but I didn't really do enough to film. So if I do enough work in the, in the music studio to film, I am going to do this. I'm gonna, gonna, going to show you that. Uh, but right now, uh, it's uh, for me, It's i got to go take, take a bit of a rest. So my body is sore again. And uh, I will be back, I don't know, two, three hours. All right, take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye. It is time for a quick vlog. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the end of the day. It's not the middle of the day. It's not the beginning of the day. It's uh, somewhere in between. It's one of these floaty dates, days that are... A little bizarre. Let me give you a time and date stamp, anyways. It is 19 hours and 33 minutes into the day of Friday, October 24th, 2014. And, uh, I thought I'd just do this vlog, uh, because I need to vlog today. It, 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 it's almost the end of the day. I haven't done the vlog yet. I was supposed to do it in the morning, but I got caught up with doing things in the morning. So, now... My parents went to went uh, on, a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, they went to uh, Paris and uh, Paris and then Greece, and they went to the Eiffel Tower and they got me uh, this. This is the uh, thing from the Eiffel Tower. You can sort of see this here. Just let it wait, get let it focus. There we go. And so uh, I'm gonna try these uh, a little later on. Uh, I don't know exactly when. Uh, I'm watching some vlogs right now, and uh, uh, tomorrow I should be editing some more vlogs and starting to upload the next series of BTS vlogs. I'm waiting for a, uh, a part to come on Monday to do uh, the Insta vlogs. Uh, I might try to do it over the weekend. It depends on how I feel. A lot of times, in terms of doing the Insta vlogs. It really depends on how I'm feeling. If my mind is not clear enough yet, it's not clear, there's something, you know, if you have a bit of fatigue, then it's hard for me to vlog. <laughs> Particularly the more serious stuff that involves uh, the research. You know, this stuff is not that hard, although there are times where there are issues where my fatigue really does get to me, and even this is difficult. But, uh... Otherwise, uh, it's usually the uh, Insta vlogs that usually give me more problems because the Insta vlogs are an hour long. It's an hour long essay, and you have to produce the essay from the top of your head. You know, not right. It's not written out. It's a one take thing, and that presents a degree of challenge. Sometimes if you're if you're fatigued and your mind is not necessarily there, it makes it even more difficult to do that. So, <laughs> anyway, so uh, we are again behind on our shooting schedule. Didn't do what we intended to do or what I said I was going to do, but we'll try to render that. We'll try to, try to repair that and uh, sort of remedy that for next week. I know that sometimes my English is up. I mean, Cassandra always talks about, uh, from Northville always talks about her Cassandra, Cassandrish, and other people notice how she f flubs and makes mistakes as she's on camera, in terms of her, in terms of her English. And the thing is, a lot of, what a lot of people don't realize is that it is very trying, is very difficult on camera to get your words exactly right because you have to do is you have to do this editing immediately. You don't have the time to correct. Uh, your spelling mistake, you know, not what you spell, but your grammar mistakes or, 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 or mispronunciations or, or whatever. You, it's, it is what it is. And so <laughs> I understand, uh, you know, when Cassandra sort of flubs something or forgets a word or forgets what something means, that happens on camera. That, it, it, when you're on camera, it does 
uh, make a difference as to uh, 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 whether you say something right or not. And I think it's, it's a lot of times you don't even catch it. So, anyways, uh, I think that's it for now, or at least for today anyways. Uh, if I can come back and do some more work in the music studio, I will. So far, uh, it hasn't really been anything interesting. It's just been doing uh, scales. But if I do anything more than that, then <laughs> uh, I'll certainly vlog it. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will talk to you later. All right. Take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.